everybody, welcome back to another manga haul. I do want to apologize here at the beginning because I haven't done a video in ages. Uh, it's been a rough couple of months, but hopefully we can get back in the saddle again and produce more content for this channel. So thank you everybody for subbing and supporting A Week in Geek Tim. So the first book here is Die Dark Volume 4 from Q Hayashida. I'm a little behind. I only read the first two volumes of this. Lovely, wonderful series. I do have a first impressions video if you guys want to check it out, but a really fun, chaotic space adventure from the creative mind behind Dorohedoro. Next up is Box of Light Volume 1 from Seiko Erisawa. This book is basically about a convenience store on the precipice beyond life and death where souls that are in the balance come here for one final purchase. It's sort of a Twilight Zone-esque adventure, kind of slice of life-ish. Art was all right, but the overall story was really fun. I really enjoyed this. Next up, is Bomba from Osamu Tezuka. I don't have any Tezuka books, so this is my very first one. I'm excited about that. I'm not gonna collect everything, but I do want to get a few books here and there, basically of my favorite characters, like Princess Knight, Dororo, Astro Boy, stuff like that. But I can sprinkle throughout my collection short stories like this, this mystery thriller manga. I don't know too much about it, just the overall description of it. And it's uh, this story of a young boy filled with rage and jealousy, and there's a phantom horse. I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you, but I'm interested. I'm gonna check it out and talk about it on this channel. I am interested in discussing more of Tezuka's work on this YouTube channel. Here we have To Your Eternity Volume 17 from Yoshitoki Oima. It's been a while since I've read a volume for this series. I stopped at volume 12 or 13. I really do need to pick up the slack and, and read this story arc that's happening right now. At least the first 12 volumes. Masterful in my opinion, I love them. Uh, one of my favorite ongoing manga at the moment. So I'm, I'm excited to eventually check this out because it looks fantastic. This was, I would say, 70% uh, me wanting it and 30% either FOMOing myself or an impulse purchase because I saw it physically. Here we have the first omnibus edition of Tokyo Revengers containing the first two volumes inside. I really like the show. I prefer the art in the manga. I don't really have space for it, but what the heck? I'm gonna collect it anyways. I do like the story a whole lot. Uh, like I said, I've only seen the show. Uh, this will be my first time reading reading it, but it's too cool not to pass up. And over here we have the Tunnel to Summer, the Exit of Goodbyes, Ultramarine, Volume 1. This is a supernatural mystery slash drama about a character that hears a rumor where this tunnel defies the logics of time and space, and if you find it and walk through it, your heart's desire will be on the other side in exchange for years of your own life. That's sort of a spoiler-free subject summary on this manga and it just immediately captivated me and I wanted to check it out. It's always a fun haul when you pick up a brand new Junji Ito book. This time we're talking the Liminal Zone. This time we are encountering the Weeping Woman, professional mourner. She can't stop crying. You can probably put two and two together. It's gonna get creepy, it's gonna get disgusting, wild, and freaky. It also has other stories involving the famous Aoki Gahara Forest and other creepy stuff that happens in this book. Berserk Deluxe Edition Hardcover Volume 11. This one is great. I love the contents here. Each chapter of Berserk just opens up to newer things and more fantastical elements that really appeal to me. I, I love all that stuff. And this one just, you know, it, it, it was peak Kentaro Miura. That art is just sizzling with how great it is. I'm not going to go into details with this volume because it's spoilers. This, of course, is a three in one. And I do have to point out that one of the posters arrived like this. So that's a little disappointing. I mean, I never take these out, but still, you don't want damaged goods. But yeah, more Berserk goodness. I, I love this series and I'm happy to continue upgrading. We're just two deluxe editions away from momentarily stopping the format. 
because we'll be caught up. So that's weird and awesome at the same time. Decided to pick up a new series for the collection. This is Call of the Night. I have the first three volumes here with me, and this is essentially a vampire story. If you don't know what Call of the Night is, it tells the story of a young lad who is sort of bored with the everyday normal adventures that one can have and desires something more. There's a wanderlust a brewing inside of him. And one particular night, he meets this young girl who turns out to be a vampire. And it's an unconventional tale. Yes, she has abilities and can fly and levitate and all the weird stuff that vampires do, but it's more about a giant freaking metaphor for, uh, you know, adolescence and wanderlust and growing up and puberty and all these things as he now understands that she's a vampire and wants to become one himself. Uh, there's a, a lot of romantic comedy aspects to it. There's also a bit of supernatural stuff, but it mostly relies on the dynamic of these two characters and just the gorgeous settings of the night. I recently recommended on the channel the anime adaptation for it, which is just stellar and really freaking beautiful to behold with the coloring and the backgrounds and all of that. I'm excited to keep reading. I, I love the character designs for this series. The story, yeah, it goes through some tropes when it comes to vampires and stories about adolescents, but I, 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 don't, I don't mind it. It's stylish enough where I want to discover more about this world and the these characters. I got uh, Kimono Jihen. This was one of my most anticipated manga that hadn't been licensed yet, but we finally got it thanks to the fine folks at Seven Seas Entertainment. This is a yokai and supernatural themed detective noir story. It follows this young kid who is based on the Dorotabo, a mud spirit that emerges from rice paddies. But in the case for this manga of Kimono Jihen, we follow the character of Inugami, a detective that specializes in the occult, and he moves to this uh, remote village in Japan on the countryside where he is tasked with investigating a series of animal livestock killings. And that leads to the discovery of this young kid that I just mentioned. Some hijinks ensue. This is a really fun series and involves a lot of Japanese folklore. If you love the supernatural, if you love spooky characters and yokai, you'll be right at home with this. I do recommend checking it out. It starts a little bit slow, but it really does pick up as you start meeting more characters and you start learning more about our main protagonist. Finally got Succubus and Hitman. This is volume two of that series. I made a first impressions on the first book. This is super not safe for work. This is edgy as hell and super uh, macabre at times. And the concept is essentially this uh, young kid that was targeted along with his family by the mafia or Yakuza and he was murdered and uh, now is reincarnated in the body of another uh, young uh, teenager and has teamed up with a succubus to take down the people that killed his family. So it's very not safe for work. I also made a first impressions video on Yakuza Reincarnation, and here it is finally volume two of that series. Basically an ex-Yakuza, now an older gentleman, he is ambushed in our world and dies and is sent into this parallel world that's more um, like feudal Japan meets medieval Europe, and he is reincarnated in the body of the princess. Turns out he's going to carry on his Yakuza tradition, so he's an utter badass, and the princess now just kicks a lot of ass, and she has a really kick-ass sword in this as well, so it's a lot of fun. I do recommend it, and I really love the art on this manga. Rent a Girlfriend. I know a lot of people hate it, I know it's not the smartest book. It has some of the most incompetent characters in manga history. That said, I do enjoy the girls in this series. Uh, the main character, he's um, such a train wreck of a character. But the girls really do make this series what it is. Chizuru and gang, I, I really like reading about uh, what's happening to them. And they get into some really silly hijinks, but you know, you gotta suspend your disbelief and just take it for what it is and have fun with it I, and not scrutinize everything. You know, this is a silly rom-com. 
Black Lagoon. Here is volume 11. You're probably wondering, hey, what about the other volumes? They're all freaking out of sock. I did get volume one, but it didn't arrive for this haul. And I picked up volume 11 and volume 12, which were in stock as well. As for the other volumes, well, uh, some of them that are still available and in print, a friend acquired them for me, I think. I need to double check on that if it really happened. And the other books, I'm just gonna wait for them to be reprinted and eventually get it. I've watched the show, I love Black Lagoon, so I, I know the story. Uh, so it, I'm, it's not like I'm missing anything. What's exciting is reading from volume 11 onwards, which is stuff that was not animated. Like with Tokyo Revengers, I have to admit, this was an impulse buy. <laughs> this is uh, My Dress Up Darling Volume 1. It got restocked or reprinted. Uh, it sold out pretty quick once the anime started. Everybody was hooked on it, I guess. And I found this at my local Walmart, wrapped in cellophane, because it has a parental advisory in it. Not because it's super explicit or anything, it's just super etchy uh, and uh, yeah <laughs> you don't want the kids to see that nonetheless I did enjoy the show I know some people don't like it some probably find it problematic some themes in it or whatever I just thought it was funny uh, I, I enjoyed it and who would have thunk that a show about cosplay would piqued my interest but here we are the art in the manga is breathtaking I love it I really enjoy the character designs actually I shouldn't say breathtaking that's a little bit too much some of you are going to think, you're going to roll your eyes and say, what the hell are you talking about? I don't know. What I'm trying to get at is that the character designs are pretty freaking cool. I dig it. So I'm excited for it. I, I guess I'll pick it up as I see the volumes. It's not a priority whatsoever, but I do like that at least I have volume one here uh, with me. So yeah, there's that. Finally, to wrap up this manga haul, Vagabond. I wasn't sure if I was even going to get these two volumes, 11 and 12. These are the last two. I am missing volume two, four, eight, nine, and 10. I think that's it. Volume 11 and 12, and a bunch of books that I mentioned here, they were stuck from back in May that I mentioned on my previous haul video with the whole summertime rendering fiasco. They were held up. I, I canceled those summertime hardcovers because they're not coming out anytime soon, so they sent the other stuff. I, I haven't read all the books, obviously, but I am excited to someday have the complete set, because uh, yeah, I'm still waiting for the other books to come back in, in print, because I ain't going to be freaking eBay, because people like to charge an arm and a leg for a freaking book. That's insane. So yeah, that's gonna be it. A weird and wacky manga haul for the summer. Uh, this was just a mess. I do apologize for the lack of content. I promised a couple of reviews and, and I did not deliver in time, but they're still being worked on, so hang tight. Thank you so much, everybody. I really do appreciate uh, the time and effort that goes into watching a schmuck like me and uh, talk about books. Uh, you know, you'd rather watch all the other famous folk but you're here and that means a lot thank you thank you i truly do appreciate it that's it for now i've got to go i will catch all of you on our next episode stay safe god bless see you then